You see that? Looks super fancy and hard to make spicy tuna avocado tower. Let me tell you, it's not. It's actually super simple to make. And today I'm gonna show you how to make this spicy tuna tossed in gochujang dressing. And literally the tower itself is so easy to build as long as you have a ring mold. 오늘의 레시피, 매콤한 참치 아보카도 타월 만들기. 오늘도 여러분들과 영어로 함께 하겠습니다. Mm. Ta da! Super deliciousness. Oh. Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper Helen입니다. So we're gonna use carby cucumbers or you could use any cucumber of your choice. Cut the ends off. We're gonna cut some strips around the cucumber like so. And we're gonna just cut it down the middle because I wanna use the thickest part of the cucumber. We're gonna start from here and we're gonna use a mandolin slicer and we're gonna cut the thinnest slice we, we can get. Paper thin slices of cucumber. This is to build the base of our tower with our paper thin cucumbers. So let me show you how thin we wanna go. Like you could almost see my finger behind it. That's how thin you wanna go. So I'm using a ring mold that's about three and a half inches wide and two and a half inches tall. So we're gonna place this down here. First, I'm gonna take two and mark one end and the other end because we wanna go around the rim. And then we're gonna take the rest off and just put our slices around in a circular shape like that. Like that and put one in the middle and then let's do a test. See, so it fits perfectly around our ring mold. And we need about medium to large size avocado. We're only gonna use half and you just wanna go around with your knife like that and then just twist to open, okay? How you move the seed is you take your knife and you just tap it right in the middle and then you twist to open. And then we're gonna cut our avocado in our shell like this. We're just gonna make strips. Now, if you feel better holding it against your cutting board like that, you could do that too. Hold it the other way. So we're cutting our cubes inside the avocado shell. So just be gentle. If you feel safer, use a butter knife instead, like that. And then we're using a spoon. We're just gonna go in and scoop out our avocado cubes like this. So the inside should be this clean. And we're gonna grab a big pinch of sea salt, some black pepper, and I have one lime here, and I'm just gonna press it down just to kind of get the juices going. And I'm just gonna cut a small wedge, like so, that small. And then we're just gonna squeeze into our avocado bowl, and just a light drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And we're just gonna go in and just lightly toss our avocado cubes, and it's okay if they're not fully separated. To make our gochujang dressing sauce, we need one teaspoon of gochujang. I'm gonna add it to our mixing bowl. And we need half a teaspoon of brown rice vinegar. If you don't have that, you could use any white distilled vinegar. And half a teaspoon of all-purpose soy sauce. Half a teaspoon of sesame oil, chamgyeram. And half a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. And we need a quarter teaspoon of gochugaru, that's Korean dried red pepper flakes, fine ground. If you don't wanna make it too spicy, you could skip this part. And a quarter teaspoon of brown sugar. Then we're gonna mix all this up. All right, so let's have a quick taste of our gochujang dressing. Ooh, it's spicy, but it's so good. It's like slightly tangy, a little bit salty. Oh, and it's just like the gochujang taste is like growing in my mouth with that extra red pepper powder that we added. But it's not too spicy. It's really, really yummy. Mm. We need about 220 grams of sashimi grade tuna. So we're gonna cube up our tuna. Make sure you're using the sharpest knife you have. And we just wanna go from start to this way. We don't wanna go back and forth. So start from here and then go back. And go back. Same thing, cross, and then cut this one down the middle, cut this one down the middle, 
So start from one stroke and pull back. So I have one, two, three strips. You can start at one strip at a time or two or three, it's up to you. And again, pull back, start from here and pull back. So it's like a one stroke cut. You don't wanna go back and forth and continue doing the rest. And then we're gonna pick up our tuna cubes and add it to our mixing bowl, like so. One more item to add is red onions, finely minced like so, about one tablespoon. And then we're just gonna gently toss our tuna cubes so it is fully coated in our delicious gochujang dressing. Oh my God, this smells so good. Oh, I wish there was smell-o-vision. Wow. Okay, here comes the easy part. We're gonna put our avocado on the bottom like so. And then I want you to hold the ring mold and just gently pack down the avocado cubes. We wanna make sure that the avocados are in full contact with the wall of the ring mold. And then the way to test to see if you're gonna be able to pull this off is you turn and the avocado should not move with the ring mold. Okay, so this is ready. And then we're gonna add our tuna gochujang dressed cubes in here. And we're just gonna start with half and we're just gonna spread our cubes and gently, gently press to pack it down. Don't be aggressive. And then we're gonna add the rest of our tuna cubes. So the key in making this dish is you don't wanna dress the tuna cubes ahead of time. You really should dress the tuna cubes in the gochujang dressing right before you're ready to eat it. I'm gonna scrape whatever is on my spatula here. And then same thing, we're just gonna gently press down to pack our tuna cubes in our ring mold. Okay, we wanna make sure the tuna is contact with the wall. And then we're just gonna slowly pull up our ring mold like that. And voila, look at that, beautiful. We're gonna garnish with a little bit of sesame seeds on top. And here I have some radish shoots that I'm just gonna lay on top just for pretty garnishing like that. And this is ready. Oh, I feel bad, but somebody has to destroy this beautiful tower, so here I go. Oh. I'm gonna have mine with just the cucumber, avocado, and tuna. Bon appetit, everyone. Mm. Mm. The cucumber adds a such a nice refreshing taste in my mouth. And then the tuna is just perfectly dressed in our gochujang dressing. I've seen a lot of recipes out there where they overdress the tuna that you can't even taste the essence of tuna. And the avocado just adds another layer of creamy, yummy texture to this bite. So good, so good. Now, if you go to one of those fancy restaurants, they serve this with like puffy rice shrimp crackers. Very, very good together. Bon appetit again. <laughs> Mmm. And having this on a bed of shrimp crackers, ooh, so good. It has a little taste of that light carb taste in the back of your mouth, oh, and a little bit of extra salt from that. Very, very good. When I was in Hawaii, they served tuna poke with tortilla chips. I know, tortilla chips. I never would think to put them together, but it is so good together. Bon appetit again for the third time. Mmm. <laughs> The tortilla chips took it to another level. It's like the avocado and tortillas met together and they're like, oh, <laughs> so happy to see you. And I have also seen this eaten with really good potato chips. Here we go. Mm. Who doesn't like potato chips, right? Ta-da, super deliciousness. Oh, I hope you try this at home because you're gonna totally impress yourself of how delicious this is and you're gonna be like, yeah, I made that, I made that. And your friends and family will be like, oh my God, how'd you make this? And you'll be like, I don't know, I can't tell you, it's top secret. <laughs> wait, 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 before you go anywhere, next week's recipe is on making yellowtail in this delicious, tangy soy sauce. 
with jalapeno. Oh, you're gonna thank me after you eat that because it just literally melts in your mouth. It's so good. So make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell so we can make this dish together. I wanna thank you for watching today and if you enjoyed watching today's video, I wanna kindly, kindly ask you to click on that thumbs up icon and subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. And as always, go to youtube.com slash modern pepper and check out my library of Korean recipes so we can make more Korean dishes together. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼과 구독 버튼도 눌러주세요. 감사합니다. 다음 비디오에서 꼭 뵙겠습니다. All right, folks, I will see you in one of the videos you see right here.